Yeah, I'm wearing my mask to protect myself from the from the coronavirus. Um. Yeah. Um, oh, um, before I get into this video, I've noticed that um I lost some um, two subscribers, and you know it isn't. It, it's not bothering me or anything. I don't really, I really don't care. Um, I think it's the fact that um, I got some videos on my channel that kind of made people mad, made people angry. Um, I think, I think, I yeah, yeah. Um, I have two videos up on my channel, this channel, um, that are about white people and how much they suck. I mean. Why white people suck in America one and two, and let's see, and then I got some videos about Canada, yeah, I got some videos that was bashing Canada, you know, and um, I think I made some people um angry at me in those videos, um yeah um. Yeah, I was caught. Yeah, in some of my videos, I'm called a racist. Um, people made fun of me and saying that um, I sound like I'm drunk when I'm talking. You know, and it's funny. I mean, a person who said I was drunk when I talk in my videos. I mean, I'm seeing their comments. Their comments sound like they're sound like they're drunk when they when they type these comments down and and send them to me. In, in the comment sec on the comment um sections on one of my videos, you know, um, and maybe maybe I'm losing subscribers, two of them or more, pff, probably gonna lose them all. You know, I don't really care. Um, maybe it's the fact that um, I remember some people who replied on my on my videos, saying that I'm deleting their comments and I'm mute I'm muting them, and silencing them, and you know. And I'm not silencing them. Um, um, YouTube is um deleting comments. You know, I mean, I left some comments on some videos, on on channels, on videos, on on other YouTube channels, and my comments are deleted, and they are. You know, I left some comments on some video on some videos from um from Doc Chio Seven, Doc Garcia, and um. They've been deleted. I don't know. I mean, I think Doc, I think I think Doc Garcia is deleting the videos. Is is deleting the comments from me on his videos because um yeah because I th I think you know I think um I don't know I think he's been secretly watching my videos. I don't know and think that I'm a man think think that I'm a man Gina in a white knight in a captain save a hole and think I'm gonna bend backwards for crappy worthless women in America, you know. <laughs> you know, um I'm not kissing the butts of, of American women. You know, I think they're worthless. I think they're no good, you know. I'm not gonna waste my time with them at all. You know, I ain't gonna say that they're all bad, but you know I'm just not, I'm not gonna waste my time with them at all. But you know, going back to um, comments being deleted on my channel, um, and people accuse me of deleting their comments. I mean, I'm not deleting their comments. Um, YouTube is doing this, and um, yeah, YouTube is doing this. I know, um, and not me. So um. Yeah, um, YouTube is deleting deleting the comments that people are are replying on my videos. Yeah, and, um, I I got some people who subscribed to me and said that um, YouTube is like hiding comments from them. So as YouTube is doing this, YouTube is deleting comments. I mean. I'm not gonna delete someone's comment if they sit if they send some if they call me names and put me down. Yeah, I'm gonna delete their comment because you know if it's bad, you know it's like this. Like I mean, you can you guys can leave positive, reasonable comments to me if they make yeah they make sense. Yeah, I'll accept them if they don't make any sense. You know yeah um anyway yeah 
I have some, yeah, some Canadians sent me some weird comments, and it made absolutely no sense, you know, I don't know. I'm getting some strange comments from Canadians, and um, <laughs> yeah, and threatening comments from crazy people here in this country, America, you know, over my videos, but you know, yeah, anyway, um. Yeah, I I'll, yeah, I I welcome people's comments. I mean, I'm not going to silence nobody. I'm not going to put anybody down. But hey, you know, hey, you know, it's cool that you know there's some people who agree with me, there's some people who don't agree with me. I mean, you guys don't have to like everything that I say in that I say in these videos. I mean, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll let you yeah, I'll let your comments fly on my fly on my channels, but you know, I'll I'll agree with your your video. I'll I'll agree with your comments, but I won't. But you know, if it's, I'll agree with them, and I won't. And sometimes, you know, if, if I see a a comment that I don't agree with, you know, I'm not gonna delete it. I'm gonna let it stay up on there. You know. Yeah, I mean, I, I got some old comments. You know, I'm, I'm you know my channel is getting a lot of comments from people, getting a lot of traffic. You know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. Um. There's a lot of things I want to talk about in this video. Um. One of my subscribers um. Told me that um Winston Wu um. Um. You know he he said that um he's a he's a he's a good role model and um he he talks a lot. You know he you know he uses his Happier Abroad. Forum and his YouTube channel to to show people how america is you know and um yeah a subscriber told me that um he's not making any videos because um he's not living up to what he's doing is like this um he's like having sex with a lot of prostitutes in the in the philippines and um and his 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 happier bra forum is is filled to the brim with all alt right people, you know, conservatives, and um, Winston Wu um is not posting any videos on his YouTube channel on his YouTube channel because um he is um how can I say this um this is from one of my subscribers saying that he doesn't he doesn't live up to what he does on his YouTube channel and his Happier Abroad forum because. He doesn't post any videos because he's running around having sex with Filipino prostitutes and um he 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 got one woman married and he has a child by one and um and he's not married and and this is why um Winston Wu is not living up to what what he what he, what he living up to his philosophy, you know. You know, I'm gonna say this. You know, I'm I'm not gonna put down Winston Wu. I'm gonna say this. You know, I think Winston Wu um needs to um go back to what brought him to the game. I mean, I think he needs to um how can I say this? He needs to like you know get away from you know like having sex with prostitutes or whatnot. He needs to like, get away from this, you know, and and spend more time on his forum. Um, and his YouTube channel, um, posting videos on his YouTube channel, and and working hard with his team on his um happier broad happier broad forum to to um, get his message to lonely uh, miserable guys in America and keep them from morphing into um, Elliot Rogers and George Sudinis and Nicholas Cruz's, you know, and tell them to go overseas and live a happier, healthier saner life you know overseas and and find a woman and just live a happy li just have it live a happy decent life yeah um, i think winston Wu even needs to needs to go back to what brought him to the game you know you know i think he needs to settle down and then get married you know and, and show a positive message in his form and I think he needs to do that. Um. 
Also, um, I heard in the news, uh, I know this is not important. You know, I know you guys don't care about this. You know, I'm going to say it anyway. Um, I heard that um, the singer R. Kelly, who was charged with, um, with, with, with sex trafficking of um, underage girls in the 90s, you know, and um, um, yeah. Um, he was arrested for, I think he was, a, I think he went to court over this and found guilty of this. Um, he, in prison, um, I heard that he, he got his ass kicked in prison by someone and someone and, and his lawyers warned him, were worrying about his safety and all. So, you know, um, and I heard that, um, R. Kelly can't read. So basically, um, he can't read because, um. <laughs> he can't read because um well let me let me get this straight he can't read and how is he making all those songs basically someone's like helping him write these songs and he can't read worth a flick so yeah um yeah i feel sorry for r kelly for being for not reading but you know i'm not gonna feel sorry for like what he did you know yeah, what he did, it just made him a piece of garbage, you know, and, um, yeah, no. Yeah, I remember it was f kind of funny that, um, um, Dave Chappelle made fun of R. Kelly on his show, the Chappelle show, with the, um, with the piss on you song. <laughs> yeah, saying that he pees on girls is kind of funny, really. <laughs> yeah, um. And also, um, there's this something that, that just really got under my skin and it kind of, you know, it kind of made me sick. Um, I heard my sister talk about, um, America, um, got away from Britain as the 13 colonies. And she said this, I'm glad we got away from those bastards, those British bastards, because, um, in England, I mean, yeah, like, like the royal family and the in a in a British um clash class um style living. I mean we got I mean we Americans got away from them because we don't want to we don't have anything to do with them. And um and and women and women in, in, in the United Kingdom can't own property and poor people can't own property either. You gotta be rich and you gotta be the, the elite class if you wanna own property in in the UK or England. And she said, and she said this, um, she said like, like when, when the, when the, when the father dies, um, everything goes to the son. And my, my sister talked about it and she said she hates it. And she said that here in the U S we don't have to worry about that. Like, I mean, we can, I mean, the woman can get any, the, the woman can get anything from the man and it doesn't have to, it had, and everything doesn't have to go to the son. It can go to the woman. So basically, um, that's just like feminist stuff. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say this, you know, um, I mean, if, if America stayed on as the 13 original colonies and uh, Britain and morph into a different country, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, we wouldn't have the shitty health care system that we have right now. Um, yeah, we have better foreign policy. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, we wouldn't be like the UK. I mean, we'll be like, um, we'd be more like Canada. It'll, it'll be like this. It'll be like a mixture of um, Canada Austra and Australia and little bits of the UK sprinkled in. You know, that's what I'm going to say about that. But, you know, um, yeah, um. Yeah, you know, I'm aware of, of bad things in the UK, and I'm aware of that. Um, yeah, speaking of UK, um, I remembered. Um, I was watching a video from um, what's his name? Um, Truth Truth Um Seeker Six Six Six, and in this video, he talked about um, what he talked about. Truth Seeker Truth Seeker Six 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 talked about um. Um, this internet company that was providing him with Wi-Fi was charging him way too much money 
and um and and he was and he said him and everybody was getting these bills all the time and um he said that people were being miserable and committing suicide over this and he talked about um he talked about um um they're going to take you to court and don't say anything to them they ask you what your name is don't say anything to them and yeah you know I kind of got a glimpse of of life in the UK you know it and it sucks really. And he said that the the um the internet company that, that was providing him with with Wi Fi, when he was watching the videos, he was getting a lot of buffering, you know, stopping buffering all the time. Yeah. I got an internet company that I get my Wi Fi from and um they um <laughs> Yeah, the the Wi Fi is really good. Actually the Wi Fi is, is connected to everything, like it's the Wi-Fi, the cable, and the phone—I don't know—they're all—they're all rolled into one. They're all—they're all connected to one another. And, you know. And yeah, the the Wi-Fi signal is very strong, but um, it's very good. I don't have to worry about any buffering or anything. But you know, the internet company that provides me with Wi-Fi, kind of like. They ripped me off and they charged me way too much money. It's rotten, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Um, well, since, yeah, well, okay, since I'm on the UK, um, people been dropping comments from the UK to me um, from videos that I commented on uh, on other YouTube channels videos that I was commenting on uh, on other YouTube channels they were telling me that uh, oh yeah if, if America yeah if America like was was like the UK um you would have a shitty British style of living and be careful what you are wishing for and stuff like have you been living under a rock England and France are overrun by Muslims and you're not up to date of what's going on in the UK L laugh out loud L O L O and all this crap you know and, um, some say that um, people in the northern part of England are, are friendly and people in the southern part are rude so yeah um, and some people said that oh the UK sucks. The UK is full of old people and it's shitty and um the UK is is shitty because as people who stab who do a lot of stabbings, they stab you and pit pocketing you and and there's a lot of bullies and the UK is worse than the US and all this. Yeah, um, I'm just yeah, it's basically stuff I'm getting from people in the comments and people and people who watch my videos on my channel, this channel, um, and some of my subscribers tell me, um, you know, um, I'm just torn up on how the UK is, you know, I went there, but you know, I didn't stay in that country for very long because, um, I got on. I went there to get on a cruise ship to sail to some countries in Northern Europe on a cruise that I went on. So, um, yeah. So I don't know. So yeah. So yeah. The next time I go to the UK, I gotta go there and see how it is. I gotta sp spend a vacation or um holiday there, as they say, to see how it is. You know, and um. Yeah, and, um, so, yeah, you know, um, I'm going to say this, you know, all these people who complain about how bad their country is, how bad it is there, how bad their country is, and this is from people from Canada, the UK, Russia, and others, you know, they talk about, oh, our countries are bad, I mean, this is from countries that are, that are sane, civilized societies, they are not um dangerous hellhole um 
tyrannical dictatorship countries like um that are not like um Saudi Arabia and um North Korea and China. Um it seems to me that people complain about oh this country our country is bad. You don't want to live there. It's bad there. And you know and um I'm going to say this, you know. If your country is so bad, move. Move. Why sit there in this country and complain about it and bitch and moan? And, 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 you know, some of these people, you know, who complain about how bad their country is, you know, they don't, some, yeah, some of them, they, they, they tell the truth. Then they go and they just lie and they just over-exaggerate, you know. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, like me, like, you know, in my videos, yeah, I, I I don't over-exaggerate. I just tell things how it is, you know, here in America, you know, how how it is, like, how things in in, a, in the um, part of America that I live in, you know, I tell the, you know, I, I just, I'm just being straightforward and honest. But you got these people from these other countries outside of America that just complain you know, how bad their country is, you know. Then I tell them how bad it is here in the U.S. They don't care. They just complain about how bad it is in their country. Then some say that America's great. You, I mean, you don't have to pay for anybody's health care or, or health insurance and um, by paying taxes for your health problems and other people's problems and Keep everything that you have, live free and have more freedom, better freedom, and you can do whatever you want here, and all this crap, you know, and, um, yeah, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to say this, um, pull the page of a British person, um, that's bollocks, you know, it's bullshit, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna say this: all countries have problems, all countries have have their issues, you know. All countries have pros and cons, but you know, you know, it seems to me them those countries that people like the UK who who live in the UK and Canada who complain about how bad their country is, at least their country is not in the extreme and crazy. And just spooky and weird and out there like like it is here in America, you know. Their countries are not like America, you know. I mean, last time I heard um, people say that um, England or the UK is is less is more um saner and less toxic than the U.S. And also, I mean, you got some Americans who live in these who live in foreign countries that these foreigners. Who live in are complaining, you know. Go say that shit to to some Americans who live in who live in your country. Say that, tell them how bad it is there. I mean, if it's so bad, then why all these Americans who are leaving the U.S. and traveling to traveling to your country and living in your country? Explain that. Hello? Yeah. Explain that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> explain that to them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Man, I mean. YouTube and it's just one big clown show of a circus clowns in the comment sections of, of videos, you know. I ain't gonna say that everybody is this bunch of clowns. I mean, there's some reasonable, sane people in the comments. There's some who aren't sane in the comments and they're just out there. Yeah, um. Yeah, okay, also, before I end this video, um. I gotta stop talking to my father. I mean, about um, about um, countries. 
about me like moving to another country and he said well if you move yeah my dad told me this um yeah if you move if you move there um if you move to this country that you want to move to you ain't gonna you ain't gonna have any freedom and um America's better than those other countries because America's better than those other countries because those other countries have freedom those other countries don't have freedom and countries and in this country America has freedom and I disagree with them and I kind of kind of got mad and just walked away from them. I went to visit them you know because you know I told him hey you're stuck in the 1970s and he said the 1970s had nothing to do with it and he was telling me about this oh if you move to France you got to learn how to speak French you got to get on the internet and learn how to sp and learn how to speak French and I said wait a minute I think I told him something like this and I know I know this and I remember he put me down when I told him I want to move to France he put me down and told me this uh, I don't know you have a learning disability there's a language barrier and you're going to get you're going to get mad and upset if you can't learn French yeah um yeah I got to learn French if I want to live in France you know that's true um I got to learn how to speak French and you know French is I heard is not a very easy language to learn it's it's not a very easy easy language to learn it is the most difficult language to learn it's the most difficult language to learn and it is it's the hardest language to learn it's not easy you know i'm gonna give it a shot and yeah you know and i was telling about hey i'm you can go to france i was telling my dad you can go to france you can you can go there and speak english i mean you can go there and like you know you can go go and study at a at a university there in english and there's people who live in france who speak english I mean, you got native French speakers who speak English. You got people who speak English are, are from countries like um the U the United Kingdom, the United States, and Canada. Yeah, um, there's not going to be a language barrier there, but you know, but overall, it'd be best if you learn how to speak French there. So yeah, so I gotta take that. And plus, you know acquiring citizenship there is super super hard i mean there's a lot of like there's a lot of like red tape and a lot of paperwork and you know you got to get you got to get your parents um their birth certificate you know in order to be become a citizen there and also you got to have a clean record in your in your home country so yeah so I'm gonna be jumping over a lot of hoops if I get this opportunity, and I hope um the coronavirus um rate here in America drops because I hope every idiot American puts on their mask and wear a mask to keep themselves from from contracting the coronavirus and spreading it to others. But you know, you got some people who want, but he, but yeah, but here in America, you got people who want to wear a mask. You got people who don't want to wear a mask. You know, and I remember a guy named by the name of Scotty thirty eight sixty one talked about this in the video. He said that um it doesn't make sense for people. This is from it. This is from him in the UK. He said this. It doesn't make sense if someone. It doesn't make sense for people to walk around wearing a mask. If you if you caught not wearing a mask, you will be fine. A hundred pounds and he said that doesn't make any sense well that makes a whole lot of sense I hope and I wish I wish um I had something I wish America has something like this yeah cuz we need it you know that will stop these idiots from running around not wearing a mask and dying and and put people at risk with the coronavirus so yeah um, yeah, Scotty 3861 is was someone I used that I used to sub to and um one of my subscribers told me that he was racist and told me stories about him and 
after that story about him being racist and saying that he hates all black black women and black people, and he said that he wants Britain to be all white and stuff. Um, yeah, after hearing that, unsubscribe to him. Yeah, but said, you know, um, I agree with him on um, Midtown and all, you know. Yeah, I had some, you know, uh, I don't hate Midtown, you know. You know, there's some things I agree with them on. There's some things I don't agree with them on. But, you know, I don't hate Midtow. I think Midtow's a good thing, you know. Taking the red pill and going your own way, you know, I got got no problem with that, you know. That's just a wake-up call to these screwed-up, spoiled, entitled women in the West. So, yeah. Um... Sorry about this video being all over the place, you know, I hope I was, I hope I was making sense in this video, and I hope I was, you know, yeah, I probably won't, I probably won't know what title to give this video, so, um, I'm gonna wind it down, you know, and, um, and in this video, you know, I, you know, um, <laughs> Hope the coronavirus um lets up because you know I wanna travel, you know, I wanna go overseas again. And you know, I don't wanna be stuck in this in this piece of shit country which is called the US of A. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, um I mean, I'm gonna end this video by saying this. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.